The uh, name is Michael. Michael and Rogan. I like to have people share culture with me. Mm -hmm. Also, I like people to show uh, themselves. Давно хотел завести свой блог. Давно хотел завести свой блог, стать видеоблогером. Okay. You uh, help. Help, um... <laughs> And let's pause it here for a moment. We're about 40 seconds into this video and you're probably wondering what's going on here? You're watching me organize the day with Michael and Olga and eventually Anton, but he's not here yet. Let me back up for a moment and give you a rundown. Anton is my Airbnb host while in the city of Ekaterinburg. This is his room cleaner. Here, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Great. Well, here's the apartment. Bed, chair, uh, wet patches, long corridor, toilet, kitchen. I like it. I'm in his apartment renting it. I was supposed to just be unpacking, planning, and getting ready to explore the city on my own when the doorbell rang. This is where Michael and Olga come in because they both arrived with a tip off from Anton that a YouTuber was in their city. There aren't many YouTubers here in Ekaterinburg, especially foreign ones. So I found myself in front of two people who were excited to volunteer to be in a movie with me. And as you'll learn, it didn't matter that I don't speak Russian and they didn't speak English. We'll talk about the rest of this off uh, the YouTube. A loose plan has been made. We're gonna grab something to eat first. Which way? Yes. This way. Uh, a loose plan. What's your name? Uh, Olga. Olga. Oh yeah, Olga. And uh, we're gonna grab some food first. Uh, no, no. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's touch sensitive with the finger. And then um, we'll see what we'll make of what's happening. Look at this traffic cutting in. So he's going, I think he's going across two lanes. This is a larder with the uh, extension. This is my first time in a Russian car. Are there always traffic jams like this? Именно на этой улице всегда пробки. It is on this street is always traffic jams. What is this building? Железная Свердловская дорога. This is going to be my evening where I'm going to use uh, Google Translation for the entire night with, with these two. <laughs> they are going to be uh, tour guides uh, in a sense for most of my day and in return we will make some videos together. Это то место, где мы живём. Ah, okay. So Anton, uh, not Anton, uh, Michael and Olga live over there. Yeltsin center. Yeltsin center. Okay. Он ночью красиво светится. Okay, and it glows beautifully at night. Are there any traffic rules? Пока нет полицейского, все нарушают. So there are no rules basically if there's no policeman about. I'd be fibbing if I said Google Translate worked 100% of the time between the three of us. I would think you need plenty of patience to even attempt communicating through the Google service as it translated mistakes and the misspoken words. At some point, we all needed to repeat ourselves or resort to guessing on the fly the context with what the other person was saying. You, dear viewer, have to remember that I'm the one at fault for not learning a lick of Russian and that Michael and Olga also didn't seem to mind. So we're coming up to uh, Greenwich, which is a shopping centre, and this is the most popular. Is this where we are going? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why we're not going is because this place has no tasty food. There's some local knowledge for you. Michael says we're gonna go to where the food is delicious. I hope so. My stomach is burning. Okay, we're in. Our stomachs are in agreement. Later, I need a supermarket because I am going on a train to Novosibirsk. Wow, the translation is really good. I got my poor pronunciation correct. Okay. Thank you. Я нажал на микрофон, чтобы быть готовым. 
Michael and Olga are here from smaller cities that are like basically a satellite city and they've come here to well enjoy the success of a larger city and uh, that's what they're aiming for uh, ever larger and greater success okay you have apartments there as well they uh, work together in a di uh, as a director and assistant director in a partnership and they have a lot of properties and they obviously use them to make money through Airbnb. And that's what we were looking at before. А сейчас будет слева наши апартаменты Артек. Разноцвет. There's a lot of driving around, which I'm not used to, uh, having lived in Hong Kong for so many years. This city looks like it needs, looks like it needs cars more than Hong Kong does, because Hong Kong has. Uh, great public transport that it's famous for that I make it famous for I'm not allowed to video the car because it's a work car it's like we're going into meeting bar and restaurants we just finished a periscope they want to show you the the the, the cuisine from this local area so we're gonna present the food to you Olga has the seaweed with grapefruit and with ham hamadari yeah, Okay, and I have the same as Michael. Uh, у меня тоже э uh, арбузный uh, суп, холодный суп. Image is important, by the way. This is why we're doing it like this. Uh, presentation of the food has been discussed through Google Translate, so they want to show things in a formal manner. настоящей русской девушкой. Хорошо. Хорошо. No, I don't think so. Uh, and it was a bit confusing. Мы вам покажем. They are asking what did you покажем. say? Мы вам покажем. What did you say? Что вы говорите? They are asking what did you say? And so some of the viewers have left. What I'm trying to say in a not so long-winded way is that if you consider none of us speak each other's respective language and Michael and Olga didn't know how dynamic a live stream conversation could be, we all did very well considering. I thank them both for even attempting to do it. After lunch, Anton arrived and he introduced himself in person. Prior to this meeting, I was just an Airbnb guest expressing an interest in staying in one of his apartments. Anton's command with the English language was much greater and he's able to explain more clearly what Mikhail, Olga and himself would like to do while I'm visiting. It's here that I understand Ekaterinburg doesn't get many Western visitors. Moscow, of course, is the main beneficiary of tourism in Russia. Anton would love for more Westerners to take an interest in his city. At the moment, they get maybe one Western month staying with them at their Airbnb. Being the business types, they understand that the city's profile needs to be raised. And in doing so, their various businesses will achieve greater success. It's already been made clear to me that all three of them have aspirations and a commitment to be more successful in life in Ekaterinburg. Mikhail, for example, already told me that he wants the car and the wife that other Russians will respect him for. It's an odd situation to be in when you're in a new city and you get plunged straight into a new situation with new people. Sorry? Okay, do I... Hmm? You go in this car? Okay, it looks like we're getting into Anton's car and I have permission to... Well, I didn't get permission, but they didn't say no. But I have permission to, uh, well, video his car. I have many keys from the apartment. Don't lose them. I'm no longer the Airbnb guest. I'm documenting and explaining three other people on this planet and showing them to the world. Do you eat fast food? Uh, only, <laughs> only pizza. Pizza. Translate, please, pizza. I don't understand. We go to rail. Rail. Мы едем по рельсам, мы нарушаем правила. Мы не нарушаем, мы просто едем по рельсам. А, ну мы не нарушаем, да. Нам можно. Это трамвай нарушает. Он. Да, трамвай почему-то нарушает, едет за нами. Мы сейчас туда поворачиваем. We're outside the uh, disused uh, TV tower. It's unfinished, actually, not disused. It's both, isn't it? And then here. But that was built in three months, okay. And then these are Anton's other Airbnbs. And just over here is the Museum of... of History of Russia. Hi, how's it going? One sentence. That's it. That's it. 
As a small gesture, Anton wanted to reach out to you and show you one of his apartments. So I'm getting a walking tour of one of their newest apartments that Anton owns. If you ever decide to visit the city, Anton is saying he's got it covered. Consider staying at one of his properties as they are ideally located around the city. As I said before, he understands that for his business to grow, the city's profile needs to grow to an outside market. And I hope this video helps in that vein with the view of the circus. But isn't it comforting already to know that Anton's hospitality is here for you if you decide to visit? You, this is for rent. This is the rent? Long term yes. rent. Mm, uh, short, short, short term. Okay. Short term. Uh, Anton, why is it so high? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is Russian architect. Yeah. <laughs> they always do this. Uh, they, they think uh, on this uh, place. Uh, uh, will will be uh, this equipment. Bedroom. Uh, Very big. In Hong Kong, my bedroom is this size. Anton points out that his rooms in this particular building are for short-term rentals, varying from weekly to a monthly basis. While Anton's business is already very successful, in the excitement, Olga just happened to be nearly showing us a room that was occupied by somebody. And it happens in Russia as well. The never-ending battle between walking the stairs and using the elevator takes place right in front of me. This is a great view of Ekaterinburg. In close proximity is the Armenian church in red. And then here is a Jewish church with the Star of David on top. Of course, if you're getting a walking tour of a building, then you've got to get access to the roof. So as one last treat, myself and my camera went to the top to look at the city from above. Okay. Wow. I am walking with Michael here and he wants to show some of his pickup skills. I'm going to periscope it and then show you what it looks like on periscope on the YouTube video. Because I can't do the YouTube and make a periscope at the same time. Supposedly he has a reputation and his skills are, well, best seen to be believed. Anton is with me, yes. This is Anton. <laughs> He's actually my, you know, host for the Airbnb. So he will run ahead when he finds a single lady. Oh, here we go. There's some women over there. How old is, uh, is Michael? Mm, 27. 27, okay. And this is Olga, and this is Anton. Oh, yeah. Did you see it? You only heard it. Mm. Yeah. No. You what? You what? No. You what? 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 Right, so we have to follow him again. Lady, lady, lady. No. <laughs> <laughs> he won't take this one. Oh, no. 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 Okay. So no. he wants only beautiful women. Only beautiful. Oh, okay. I thought he just wanted any woman just to prove right that he's here. got skills. 
а, Лика, Лика, а, красивая девушка, очень, эм, скажи, hello. Hello. Can you speak English? Там лайки, он пошли, у нас 15 тысяч подписчиков. So-so. So-so. В телескопе. Translate. Translate, please. Да, 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 подожди туда. Hello, nice to meet you. You speak English? Yes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Where have you traveled? I don't know. <laughs> have you been to another country? Uh, yes, but it's not Europe. It's not Europe. I've run out of time and I've got to get to bed. But first, some goodbyes to my new friends. I, so I don't see you tomorrow. Okay. So thank you very much Ooh, for your time. Maybe you see you. Okay. <laughs> it uh, depends about uh, work. Maybe. Okay, sure. Thank you, Olga. Thank you. Nice time. Thank you. Thank you for uh, Thank you, Olga. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you too. Thank you for your stories. Okay. Uh, come visit us again. Sure, I would like. I love Russia. Russia is yeah. amazing. It's a very good night tonight. Very funny. Подписывайтесь на его канал, ставьте лайки. Love from Russia with love. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. This is where we take the road, and the cars supposedly stop for us, even though there's no markings on the road. Oh, they do. They do. Oh, it's so scary. Обнаглели. C'est vraiment mon meilleur ami. My best friend. <laughs> Tiens, une belle boule glacée te fera du bien. Voici pour mes amis. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> At all. C'est du chocolat comme lui. Allez. Well, okay. Thanks. Chocolate's my favorite. Yeah, me too. Ah, uh, No markings, but there's a sign on the street that says pedestrians have right of way. Yeah. Et même si la vanille est le parfum le plus populaire au monde, eh bien, le chocolat reste le meilleur en réalité. Oh. What language is he talking in? French. He only speaks French. Надо было гулять вдвоем. I have no idea what you're saying. Do you understand French? No, just English, I uh, I never understand a word he says. Okay. 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 Mikhail offered to drive me back to my apartment after the rest of our party left us. While I sat in his car, listening to his music and getting to understand his passions in life, I began to think about the day with my new friends. And I certainly feel I have made a few friends this night. The hospitality towards me went above and beyond what is expected of an Airbnb host, but also from complete strangers who don't speak my language. Michael and Olga didn't need to visit me, and other people I met off camera were equally as nice. It was said to me during my stay in Russia, and I say this now back in Hong Kong after having completed my traveling, that it was me that humanized the Russian people. I like to think the opposite is true, that the Russian people have humanized themselves. I got to meet a group of people who not only trusted me, but who wanted to open up to me and share their passions with me. Whether it was wanting to be more successful in life with their business, or to share their way in how they help others. Mikhail, with his pickup skills, assists his friends so they can have the confidence to meet and talk to women. Tonight was unexpected. Instead of seeing the sights and sharing what would have been a tourist's view of Ekaterinburg, instead we were given a view of the city through the lens of friendship. This all surprised me and the live stream viewers, but then we should be aware of how the media filters news stories and events leaving behind impressions of whole regions of the world we think we understand, but we don't. It seems silly to admit this realization here, but Russian people are just like us. I consider myself informed as a person, but even I can succumb to lazy generalizations that are held up in front of us every day. This is why traveling 
getting out into the world is so healthy for our spirit. To develop a perspective that you fed yourself with your own adventures and your own encounters, rather than have it spoon fed to you through a man sitting in a chair on the television. You know, I came across a similar Mark Twain quote, and obviously Mark Twain is much better, so I'll end with a quote from him. He said, travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness, and many of our people need it sorely on these accounts. Broad, wholesome, charitable views of men and things cannot be acquired by vegetating in one little corner of the earth all one's lifetime. Oh, um... Uh, I need to... Okay. Um... Another 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, one last bit. This is like Lord of the Rings where it keeps ending. Did you notice that I didn't visit the city? I didn't see much of the, the sights. Uh, that's fine. Maybe not for you. Maybe you expected a different video. Well, that's also fine because I can't change that. But if I had stayed a second day, there'd be a second video about the landmarks and maybe the cuisine and so forth. You know, the touristy things. You're going to have to find those things for yourself. Uh, I'm going to try and help you out as much as possible by putting loads of relevant links in the description of this video. What I do want to end with though is that I don't regret meeting these three people. In fact, this is the highlight, one of the highlights of my journey uh, going across the five countries that I visited. It was nice just to get to know people from a different place and also hopefully change some perceptions of a group of people in front of another group of people. The most important sites in this video though was Anton's Airbnb. You have a place to stay, you know where you can stay now. Anton has places near the train station, that's where I stayed, and he has uh, Airbnbs inside the city centre. So he's very, and you can tell he's very accommodating. So definitely check it out. His Airbnb profile is also in the uh, profile description of that video. Just a couple of fun facts uh, to share with you is Ekaterinburg is the fourth largest city in Russia, has the tallest skyscrapers in the country. I didn't know that, although I certainly got a sense for that having walked around. It's nice to know though. Peter the Great, you remember him? Great guy, killed loads of people. He actually named the city of Ekaterinburg after his wife, Ekaterina. Yay feminism. And this year, because the World Cup is in Russia, Ekaterinburg is one of the 11 host cities. So if you're just Googling for information, and you probably found a relevant tag, then that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, this place is going to serve uh, serve you well if you stay at Anton's, and uh, he's obviously uh, a wealth of information with regards to getting around the city. Um, the next video is going to be about the the church, of, church blood of the All Saints. It's a church where the Russian royal family died, like during the Russian Revolution. That's where the Russian family was, and they were executed. Uh, in this church and uh, there's a couple of minutes dedicated to it in the next video that I'm going to make but otherwise I'm, I'm traveling again uh, back on the train on to the next uh, destination anyway I hope you enjoyed this video I enjoyed my time there if you are gonna go to the city you, this sounds like an advert now but definitely stay at Anton's I don't know what else to recommend I'm being honest at least I don't know where to go go, go to Anton's and uh, thank you Anton, Mikhail and Olga one last time and the subtitles were through you I, I made the effort of doing the subtitles for you, uh, but I really wanted you to experience it as much as all my English viewers uh, will do as well. And yeah. Okay. Jackie Chan. L'ours peut alors attaquer et devient dangereux. What's he talking about? Bears, I guess. <laughs>